God bless you if you like this? How can God give you what you've been praying for if you like this? But you know what? Sometimes we're worried about the person that's sitting next to us. We're worried about what people are going to say when they see us. We're worried about, but guess what? When you go before the throne of God, this is going to be you and God. in the praise if you've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I get excited every time I hear that video, amen. Thank you once again, MBOG Media Productions, for that um, opening video, amen. I mean, that's just a video that will really get you, maybe want to get dressed and go to church right now, amen. We just thank God for what he's doing. This is Minister Kevin D. Sanders, amen, live on KD's Inspire TV, and I am so blessed and thankful for people like you, amen, for taking a small moment out of your day, amen, to watch these videos. And I pray that these videos are inspiring you. Thank you for these emails and text messages. I am so blessing. That's what motivates me to keep doing what I'm doing so that the people of God can be blessed. Amen. Amen. Today, this is episode number four, and we are going to be talking about something really briefly that's going to hopefully get you um, in the right perspective, in the mindset to be able to move forward in your life. Amen. We are going to talk about moving forward. We're going to talk about learning how to let things go. We're talking about learning how to press. Amen. And my good friend, Paul, in the word of God in Philippians chapter three, he has a scripture that I want us to look at today. Philippians chapter three, verse 13. Amen. And we're going to read that today. And we're going to talk about what do I need to do to be able to press towards the things that God has for me. Let's look at this. Philippians chapter three, it says, um, brothers, I do not consider that I have made it on my own. Amen. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of the God in of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. So forgetting those things that are behind me and pressing towards those things that are in front of me. Now, a lot of times people say, well, I have a hard time forgetting those things that are behind me. Yes, you are going to have thoughts and you're going to have feelings. And you're going to have emotions that's going to kind of take you back to those places. But it's one thing to go to that place but it's another thing to stay at that place. Amen. And you know what? We're natural. We're human. We have those moments where our mind may go back to a place where God has taken us away from. But what I encourage you today is don't stay in that place. Amen. Because if you stay in that place, you start to go back through the actions and you start to go back through the motions of where you used to be. And we serve a God that's doing a brand new thing in your life. You know what? Look at you today. God is doing a new thing in you. Yeah, I said it. Even for those that I don't know, God is doing a brand new thing in you because look at where you are now compared to where you were back then. Hallelujah. Look at where you are now compared to where you were seven years ago, 10 years ago. 20 years ago. Come on. That's a reason to give God praise right there. We serve a God that says that I will never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Amen. We serve a God that says I am your present help in the time of trouble. We serve a God that says that I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, plans to, to elevate you. Amen. Plans to get you to a better place. And what kind of God Amen. What kind of God would allow you to go back to your past and stay in your past? Let me show you this demonstration real quick. Amen. So in my hand, I have this paper towel. I have this tissue and whatever you may use the tissue for. Amen. When I finish using this, I throw it in the trash can, right? Amen. I missed it. All right. I throw it in the trash can. Once I throw it in the trash can, okay, I take that bag and eventually I'm going to throw it in the larger trash can. Uh, trash container and I'm going to take it and the truck is going to get it. Now watch this. How would I look going and chasing that truck, amen, to go and get the trash bag out only to get this back out of the can? You say, well, Kevin, that doesn't make sense. Well, amen. The reason why I don't make sense here is because that don't make sense in a spirit either. Because once God says that something is over, once God has detached you from something, once God has delivered you, once God has released you, you are not to go back to that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. You are not to go back to the thing that God says, you know what? Not, not that, That's not where you are anymore. Amen. You're not connected to that anymore. I'm doing a new thing in your life. I'm restoring your mind. I'm restoring your body. 
I'm restoring your relationships. I'm restoring your family. I'm taking you to a new place. I'm answering your prayers. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm taking you to a place that you've never been before. So because of that, you should have no desire to have to go back to where you used to be. Why? Because where you were, it was abuse. Where you were, that was darkness. Where you were, that was a bad place. And God saw that. And something happened in that bad place where you said that if something has to get better in my life. And when you lifted up your hands and you said, God, I surrender to you, the Lord saw the state that you were in. And just to prove to you the great God that he is, he transformed you. And now when you look in the mirror today, you don't look like what you've been through. Hallelujah. Hi, about to shout right there. You don't look like, you don't act like, you don't talk like what you used to be. Why? Because the Lord says that I took you out of your past to bring you to a better present because I'm preparing you for a prosperous future. Amen. And I want you to look at those steps. Amen. So you are not in your past. You don't live in your past. God has delivered you from your past, but God is also using your past so that you can be stronger today. Amen. So forget those things that are behind you. And I call this the hand of pressing. Amen. Press towards those things that are in front of you. Press towards the prayers that you've been asking God, amen, to bless. Press towards those family relationships that you want restored. Press towards that financial um, breakthrough that you want in your life. Press towards that healing that you want in your body, amen. Press towards that peace of mind that you want. Whatever it is that you want God to do, the Lord says that this is the season where I'm encouraging you to press, amen. Press, press, press. Press towards a better praise. Press towards a better worship. Press towards a better attitude. Press whatever you got to do. And why do you have to press? Because the enemy is daily putting stuff in front of you to stop you from moving to where God has you. But I want you to declare today that I am going to press no matter what happens, no matter what people say about me, no matter what people may throw against me, no matter what darts are thrown, doesn't matter if people like me or not, I have a pressing spirit. And when you have that pressing spirit, you are able to stand firm and say that there is no weapon that is formed against me that shall prosper. The weapons will come, but they won't prosper. Why? Because I got a press spirit. Woo! Amen. Brothers and sisters, I get excited when I talk about the word of God. So I pray that you're taking that today. And I pray that that's encouraging you today, that God is doing a new thing in your life. God is blessing you and God is healing you. So don't you dare think that where you are right now, you're going to be there forever. Because Paul has told us that press towards those things, forgetting those things that are behind me, and I'm pressing towards those things that God has in store for me. Father, we thank you so much for this video. Be a blessing to those who are watching it. Be a blessing to those who they even shared with. And I pray that you continue to do great and mighty things in the lives of your people. Teach us how to daily press towards what's in front of us and stop trying to stay in those things that are behind us. That's not us anymore. We're not there anymore. You're doing a great thing in our lives. We give you all the honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, what time is up? Amen. I'm telling you, if we keep this video going, we're going to have revival on this KD's Inspired TV. I thank God for you, and I pray that God continues to bless you. Amen. Use this video. Share it with somebody. Amen. Feel free to visit my website. Yep, it's written right down there. www.mvogministries.com. www.mvogministries.com. I love you. God bless you, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Stay strong. This is KD's Inspired TV.